Hey everybody, what's up? On this video, I'm going to show you the two most important metrics to grow your online business. Hey guys, what's up? Hernan Vasquez here and welcome to another video. And thank you once again for watching this video. Um, I'm really, really excited about this channel. I've been slowing down a little bit the amount of videos that I'm putting out, but because I'm working on some big, big projects with some big clients. And I'm gonna be telling you more about that uh, later on. But for the time being, I just wanted to let you know, guys, that I will keep, uh, I will um, still be uploading videos uh, for your viewing pleasure so that you can have my pretty face all over your social media and your, uh, all over your monitor. So if you do not have a big enough monitor, go get one because the bigger the monitor, the bigger my head on it. All right, guys? So that's that. And on this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the two most important metrics uh, in your online business. And with these two metrics, these are the only two metrics that you need to have in mind and that you need to really dial down in order to grow your online business. You know, let me tell you a little bit of a story. Uh, last week, I held a webinar with some, uh, with some associates, with some partners for the Spanish market. And they were raving because we had a really good sign up rate. We had like 700 people, almost 800 people sign up for a webinar with really short notice, like maybe a week of notice. So it was really cool. And the show up rate was really good as well. It was like 300 people or so, which is pretty good. Okay, yeah, the show up rate was a little bit less of 50%, around 40% something, which is pretty cool for a webinar. Now, the problem is that we made two sales. So while my partners were raving and really excited about saying, hey, we broke a new record of attendees, etc., and I know that the sales come pretty much after the webinar with the follow-up, I wasn't that excited because attendees, sign-up rate, show-up rate, those were vanity metrics. I was more excited about how much money we were making, all right? And being focused on or having worked on SEO for a lot of time and still working on SEO, you will come across a ton of vanity metrics like rankings or positions or, you know, traffic, or even when you're doing PPC, uh, stuff like cost per click or Co uh, click through rate, all right, or view rate. Like I'm having a, I don't know, a 5% uh, click through rate on my Facebook ads, okay? And the reality is that those metrics are all nice and good. You need to have them in mind, but if you wanna really cut to the basics, you need to have two metrics in mind, only these two metrics. And I will explain about how to lower them and how to, how to, um, increase them because you want to lower one and increase the other to make more money, all right? And I'm gonna be talking a little bit about those on upcoming videos, but the two metrics that you need to have in mind are basically one, cost per acquisition, also known as CPA, and the number two is average order value, also known as AOV, all right? To keep things really, really simple because then you can go through churn rate or lifetime value of a customer, but to keep things really, really simple and really straightforward and to simplify all of your online business, basically, you need to achieve that your cost per acquisition, that is the amount of money that you're paying per customer or to acquire a customer is less than your average order value, which is in av on average, how much uh, money they're spending with your company. The difference between these two, the CPA and the AOV, the cost per acquisition and the average order value is gonna be your revenue, all right? And your revenue will be how much money your, uh, your company is making, all right? So when I'm developing a sales funnel, the main point is that you work backwards. So let's say that you have a $1,000 or $500 product that you wanna sell and you have only that product. You do not have any other products, you do not have any other upsells, downsells, whatever. So your average order value is gonna be $500. And then you need to figure out how much money you wanna make. A good ROI would be a two to one or a three to one ratio. That means that 
for every, a two to one ratio would be for every $500 that you're selling, you will be paying $250 to acquire a customer. That's a two to one ratio, okay? You're doubling your money. And that's super attainable, by the way. That's super, super attainable. In fact, we have been uh, growing uh, businesses and, and sales funnels by a 300%, so it's a three to one ratio. Or, or, or tripling customers' uh, businesses just by applying this technique. So instead of going out and trying to lower your CPC or seeing how much, you know, where your website is ranking on Google and all those kind of nonsense, which is great, you need to have in mind these two metrics. Again, I'm gonna talk a lot about these two metrics because they are like super important for your business to work and for your sales funnel to work. Basically, you need to pay less to acquire a customer than it is the customer, how much money they pay to be part of your company, all right? So one is cost per acquisition, CPA, and the other one is average or the value or how much money on average they're spending in your business. Once you have those two metrics, the difference, the, the bigger the difference, the more money you're making, all right? So over the next couple of videos, I'm going to be talking about how to lower your CPA and how to increase your AOV. All right, so that the difference is higher, you are basically making more money. I'm also going to leave a link below in the description or somewhere around the video so that you can check out the four steps for a profitable sales funnel with me, step by step, how to go through the different steps of a profitable sales funnel. And the videos are completely for free. It's a series of videos that I will be sending you via email. So it's completely free. I'm going to leave a link somewhere around here so that you can check them out. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.